So I heard a news report on the radio today uh, talking about deep fakes and how uh, someone developed a new algorithm that can create realistic faces and how it can be a threat because you wouldn't be able to see the difference between a picture of a real person and uh, an AI generated person and that will have a crazy lot of implications and that can how terrible this can be. And I made some research and this is <laughs> really this is far from being the case now. Don't worry, you're still safe. So the system is simple. You have two neural networks. One creates uh, images, faces of people. The other one is checking uh, a bunch of parameters to see if those faces uh, pass as real. And there is a feedback loop that allow the networks that create, the neural networks that create the faces to improve. So like, oh, this is wrong. Okay. I'm going to try again. And so it goes back and forth until you get something that passes the criteria that you put on the second neural network. Uh, and they come up with this algorithm. Normally, <laughs> what I heard on the news, which is so realistic, it's a threat. AI generated faces are a threat. And so I found this website, which is not the original web, the, the person that developed the algorithm, but what they do is that they put two pictures next to each other. One is real, one was generated by this neural network, artificial intelligence. And you have to guess which one is real. And I tried to play it, and it's super easy. I mean, I'm not even good at Photoshop, <laughs> and I can't see all those small details. Like, let me show you how easy it is. So are you ready? It's gonna go fast. Look how fast I can guess which picture is real. Bim, correct. Bing. Correct. Oh, that's a tough one. No, it's easy. It's so easy. I think I played for like so long and <laughs> I really had no problem. And then you can guess in a matter of just a second which picture is real or not. So let me try to explain you how you can spot it like really quickly which picture is real or not. Um, they actually have a lot of information on that website and they can show you a list uh, on how you can see if it's real or not. So you have what you call the water uh, splotches so that you can see at different places. Sometimes it's in the background. Um, you have the background that's often uh, blurry, distorted, patchy uh, or like a filter was applied to it. The glasses, I don't think they're that bad, but you can see it on the glasses sometimes. There's also asymmetries, but that can be a little bit tricky. Some people have asymmetry on their face, but sometimes that can be like a little bit too much and you can see it. Uh, you have issues with hair blending. Uh, you also have, yeah, what they call color bleed. It uh, can also be on the texture on the, um, the cloth they're wearing or stuff like this. Teeth, some issues also with the eyes. You can have uh, eyes of different color problem with the location of the iris, that's also possible. Um, so that's some of the things they list and they give a link to another website uh, where you can have more information. So everything is available on the website. I didn't look at it first and I saw that there was a lot of things there, some that they missed. Here for example is a non typical gender representation, so you can have uh, this kind of pictures when that makes you question like, hmm. This is a bit strange. Noise in, in the, on the cloth, that's, that's the color bleed. Uh, but there is more than that. So let me show you really quickly how you can spot it. So let's start with the obvious. You will have the background. It's always easy to pick out. And if there is, for example, other people in the picture. Uh, like here, if it was the algorithm that will completely distort uh, that other person, which means it's not what they, they said. They said that it's like creating a face out of nowhere. It's not. It's taking pictures and it's modifying them. Uh, it's kind of like patchwork. It's gonna take eyes from somewhere, put them here and stuff like this because you will see that sometimes there is some clear distortion of picture that show that it was a picture already taken and they modified it. You could clearly see it. So here in this example, you see someone, it's like perfectly clear, you know that picture is real. But what is gonna, um, trigger uh, if you want to look purely at the picture here without looking at the background you have a weird effect uh, with the hair it looks like 
uh, scars actually how it was blended you also have those color uh, bleed here like this pastel effect uh, on the cloth and here also in the hair you have uh, a red bleed uh, here more wrong blending with the hair if you look at the highs the high risk is like really weird and that's like a re really weird shape that's something you can easily see so this person is real let's find uh, another one so here is the example with the symmetry if you look at the teeth and look at the person face it looks like the teeth were photoshop <laughs> were added in a way that like the person is looking straight at the camera but the face has a little angle so it looks like a front teeth is like here you know so that's instead of here so that's super easy to to spot uh here you can see also more uh, wrong uh thing with the hair the blending is weird you have a little uh, water uh, splotch here here you have some hair coming out of nowhere so that's easy to spot okay if you look purely at the face once again you can see here there's something weird with a weird with an earpiece uh so that's Half blending into the hair, that's really bad. Oh, once again, symmetry. Uh, the front teeth is like here. So that looks... <laughs> that looks a bit like Tom Cruise, but he is real. So this one is real. And here, a really interesting one. The blending is like all weird. It looks like it's a really bad Photoshop. Uh, you could see here how the face... It looked like it was like just had it here in this weird pink stuff that's that's really bad here we have a really good example of water splotch here look at that that's like a ring artifact clearly visible okay another example they were talking about were the glasses uh, here you could clearly see that it looks like it's Photoshop especially here that's like that that looks really bad the shape is also a bit strange on the on the second glass here that that's an indication Okay, a really good example here for the eyes. Look at the eyes, how strange they are. It's like, it's not round, it's a bit distorted. It's really, really strange. And this hand here, it's, oh my God, it's, it's nightmare. A fuel of nightmare. <laughs> okay, another example here. I think I, I see it often. It's a skin texture issue. You can see heat here on the neck, the, the texture is weird and here it's like this person is sweating a little bit but look at how this this is like not normal like wrinkles or ring, expression wrinkles that's like that's the texture is really weird so that's not something you would find here it's like it's much more clear so here's what I was telling you when there's someone else in the picture like look what they've done <laughs> So they, they blended it, uh, kind of, like, you don't know, like a weird filter was applied to it. That looks really strange. And that's how I know that they take pictures and they modify it and they don't create picture out of nowhere. This is not as good as it seems. Oh, like, oh, look at this. This is one of the worst I have ever seen. Like, oof, oof, all of this, oof, the shape, oh, oh my god, horrible. Here we got a nice one with the, the earring thing. It's like they, f like, look at this monstrosity of here. Sometimes they mess up really hard, and it looks like the here piece is part of the here. So that's that's really messed up. Here we go, another one uh, with the here. So here you got the nice here piece, and here, poof, it's gone. But you see that she's wearing something. <laughs> here also you can see a clear uh, symmetry issue with the here. Um, that's like. Two different people here i know you can have like asymmetry on your ears i have it like one is a little bit higher but here you can clearly see it was for the purpose of putting the glasses that's really bad <laughs> here another symmetry issue when the, the person is not looking straight to the camera when it's trying to patch the eyes or the teeth you will also see that it's most of the time it's it's really bad look here you can see uh, on the teeth you have some artifacts uh, it's not like this person has really bad teeth it's just like artifacts created also the nose bridge is a bit strange the eyes once again they look like reptilians <laughs> what a splodge everything this is real 
Here is a, a clear example with the ears. Like, look at this here. Uh, that's, that's really strange. That's really strange here. It looks like it was clearly photoshopped in. That's, that's really bad. And look at yeah, this portion here. It's like he has an extra cheek. He has like a, a double cheek. Here you can see more of the weird texture that sometimes they have in the neck. I found it often, that was not in the list, but you can find often in the neck here. They have some like really weird textures, uh, wrinkles, and that's often what gives it away. This one looks pretty good, except for the earring once again, like blending weirdly into the hair. But, like, this for me is like what, catch my, what catches my eye. Yeah, here, look at what I was talking about. Look at this texture in the neck. Look how weird it is. It gets also like some color blend. You can see there's a lot of green that's transferred on the face, the ear, earpiece missing, etc. But that's that's really strange. What's interesting to see that they have a, they had like a lot of press coverage. Oh, look at this! Oh, oh, we got the Trinity <laughs> of uh, reputable news coverage. Birdfeed News, The Verge, Know You Meme. That's that's like the top. Like, look, the, the first one they put on the press coverage. <laughs> Is that a joke? Oh my god. No, but th there was much more than that because I also uh, heard it on my local uh, radio station. So it's, yeah, yeah, I listened to radio in 2019. I'm so freaking old. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, that that was, that was nice. That, I think that's nice to have this uh, coverage, but like... To see those alarmist reporters, like, this is the end! They really want to make something out of it, but it's just anecdotic because it's far from being... from being correct. Like, I saw some deep fakes that were, like, a bit convincing because they just play with the math here, you create a wall face, it's like, nope. I heard that they improved uh, the algorithm, um, but I haven't seen it you know, in practice. I don't think it's available to the public or it's not easy to find. But they made a, a new version of it, and I don't know. That will be that will be interesting. That will be interesting. But uh, so far, don't worry. <laughs> okay, that's all for me. See you next time.